Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about some possible offensive linemen the Cowboys could be interested in. We are thin there, obviously, at the center position. Cowboys need some help. This is serious. Cat mode time, baby. You know how we do it. All right, before we get into the video, this is a very special video. Today marks the 15th anniversary of CowboysBlog.net, and, you know, with that being said, I want to continue, you know, another 15 years so we can hit that 30 year mark. Now, how incredible would that be? That's a lot of years, all right? So, started this back in 2003, you know, that was uh, right there when Bill Parcells came on board and uh, started out blogging, you know, I was a primarily uh, a web blogger. You know, over the last two years, I kind of transi transitioned over to YouTube, so um, I do want to get some upgrades in place. So I do have a link in the description if you guys don't mind hitting that GoFundMe. I do have a goal there that I'm trying to reach to do some equipment upgrades. I want to improve the camera here and I get some better sound quality as well. So just a little um, anything will do, whether it's a dollar, two dollars, whatever, you know, any little bit will help. So if you guys, you know, love this channel and you continue to come here and like the videos, uh, show me some love there and, and put something there in the GoFundMe, all right? Uh, now, to the main topic here that we're going to talk about, some people that the Cowboys could be targeting here, you know, um, I think the Cowboys are going to need to look at somebody that is, that has versatility with playing guard and center, all right? So I combed all 32 teams and I targeted um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I targeted eight players that the Cowboys could have interest in um, that could fill the need here. All right, Travis Frederick, we don't know how long he'll be. Will the Cowboys put him on uh, on IR with the, with the possibility of coming back after uh, week six or seven, whatever that is, that IR designation where you can come back during the season? I have a feeling they might do that, you know, um, Frederick is getting the the uh, aminoglobin uh, treatments uh, intravenously, so he's full speed ahead with with the recovery. But uh, as far as seeing the field, it, it's going to be a while. So we're rolling with Joe Looney. But with that being said, going to that Carolina game, even in this preseason game, but primarily we're, we're looking at the regular season. Who who's going to play behind Joe Looney? All right, undrafted guys we have on the team. That's not going to cut it. All right. Do we have any players here that have that versatility? Really, the only one would be Zach Martin. That would be a catastrophic shift. Zach Martin, Lyle Collins, Cameron Fleming. I mean, we're talking some, some craziness there. So, I don't like that. That's a worst case, catastrophic tsunami type of situation. I do think that the Cowboys will, will make a move here soon. All right, will it be, and like I said, I think it's gonna be a guard who can give us some guard. Um, depth, all right, because the guard depth isn't good. I do like Kadeem Edwards. I think he's he's coming along, but he he's he's only a guard, all right, and he and he can probably take play tackle because he's got the length, um, 35 inch arms. Very, he's got length there. But can he play center? No, he can't play center. He didn't play center in college either. So let's go over my list here real quick. All right, <clears throat> first one off the list, John Feliciano. The Raiders, all right. The Cowboys have a working relationship, you know, going back to, you know, the early years there with with, uh, with Jimmy Johnson and uh, even before that, you know, there's there's always been this relationship between the Cowboys organization and the Raiders. Could they make another trade here? All right, Joe uh, Feliciano was a fourth round pick in uh, 2015 with the Raiders. He's now been, you know, uh, relegated to a backup position. So. He has that, he has that um, versatility, guard and center, all right? So that would be a good one. Ty Sambralo, Atlanta. He's kind of been a little bit of a journeyman, drafted by the Broncos, came over to Atlanta, has versatility, actually has played all five positions. He's got some height to him, some weight. He could be somebody the Cowboys might be interested in. They might be able to pick him off. A lot of these guys you can get with a day three pick most likely I don't none of these guys are guys that you're gonna give a high pick to so this could be this could be a good move okay Ryan Groy from Buffalo Wisconsin has the ties there with Travis Frederick there's a familiarity there with them Frederick may have even given the Cowboys a, uh, a heads up like hey bring this guy in guard versatility center all right that's so that's a good one there 
<clears throat> Max Garcia from Denver. He's he's in the backup role. He could be a target for the Cowboys. You now that similar type of running game, uh, zone blocking. So maybe that might work there. The Patriots are kind of deep with offensive linemen. The Cowboys, you know, they could they could make a move there. Ted Karras, Patriots versatility. They have him as a backup guard, a backup center. He could fit. And they also have Brian Schwinky uh, as a. I think he's playing with the third string center, but he has starting potential. He can play center. He can play guard. Has size to him and NFL starts. That's another one to consider. The Saints, uh, Josh Laribos. Um, I think he's like 29. He has some experience to him as well. They brought him back in free agency to give them depth. I do. The Saints like him as a depth person. The Cowboys, they need a guy, and Josh, he can provide that that uh, guard slash center capability. The final guy, <clears throat> Cowboys could take a look at B.J. Finney, big man there at Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, you know, they tend to draft pretty good on the offensive line. They've had some pretty good hits there on B.J. Finney. He's playing in a backup role. But has again, you know, he's got that guard, center capability, versatility. So these eight guys are guys to maybe, you know, kind of get a little bit familiar with. And don't be surprised if you hear something happen here with, with some of these guys. Um, as far as an addition here for the Cowboys, you know, bring them in here and see what happens. Um, as far as like after cuts, I'm not so sure you'll get... Um, somebody of this caliber you, you might get some some other players but <clears throat> combos need to make some moves here at least to get them through the rest of the preseason um, and definitely for the regular season but that's all i have right now guys let me know what you guys think about the cowboys offensive line depth do you feel like they're going to need to make a move there for somebody like this like a guard with center versatility um lao has got a little tweak there but he says he's okay but <clears throat> you know I like what they have with Cameron Fleming. I think he's good, he can play left and right. But the guard and now the center are big. That, that's a big thing right now, that's a big thing. You gotta get somebody in here that can play both positions. All right, so any of these guys could be a possibility. But let me know what you guys think. And also, like I said <clears throat> at the beginning of the video, if you guys can contribute there to the GoFundMe, the link is in the description there. Hit that up, donate whatever you can. I'll be giving shout outs to uh, all videos with all my uh, uh, donators. All right. So really appreciate it. We'll see you for the next video, guys. Thanks.